Hey everyone, it's Nick, Iowa Bird Chaser. It is November 16th, morning of. We are at a wetland area here in Pima County, and we're just heading on in to do our thing. We walk for about a half hour, 40 minutes before we get into some action, so we'll cut ahead to that here. So uh, I didn't have a good feeling about it. It came down in the corn. It did not look like it came down wounded. It, it looked like it came down like it was going to hit the ground and run. I'm not sure. The shot looks good. Kind of looking at the video, it looks like I was leading it a little bit. Uh, once again, I'm shooting with that full choke, so I'm just I'm not sure what happened. But I was pushing down next to the standing corn over here, or part standing. As you'll see, it was pretty messed up from the derecho we had. August 10th, which is basically like a land hurricane here in the Midwest. Uh, and we went in there, we looked around for a while and just didn't end up coming up with anything. It was a little disappointing, especially when you have them once again, right at your feet. Uh, you know, it's just like, gosh, those are opportunities that you're not presented often and you should be knocking those down, especially as experienced as I am. But it all comes back to working in the off season and hitting the clay range, which I did a little bit in the off season, was feeling really, really good, was smashing things out there. And of course, it just wasn't translating to the field right now. Hey guys, Iowa Bird Chaser here. It's Monday, November 16th, I believe. Uh, we just came from a wetland area, Mr. Rooster at about 10 yards. As you know, typical Iowa bird chaser, as we're a little over two weeks into the season, it seems like that's what we do. We miss the first shot opportunity we have in each county. I guess we're gonna call that our signature move, leaving one for the next guy. But so far, we're still getting it done. It's just taking a couple extra shots. So the wind's picked up a little bit here. We're in Tama County today. Um, we've been hunting Tama all day so far. We're going to check out this piece of property behind us, which we have seen birds here years before, and there's some nice corn and stuff around here, so it, it looks really nice out there. So we're going to spend a few hours here and see what happens, and uh, hopefully we'll get some good action for you. I'm getting ready, as you can see, and I heard a rooster cackling straight ahead of me as I'm loading my gun in this field. I try to always park in a different area if I can other than the designated parking area during the harvest season when farmers are getting in and out of their fields I will not park on a road like this but this is kind of an isolated area so I felt comfortable today doing this uh, knowing that I most likely wouldn't be in the way but I heard that rooster cackling get the dog out get the gun ready and right as I get up in front of the truck I see it come shooting out of the area on the right across the road to the left where the cut corn is it doesn't really show up on the GoPro because it was so far and I have to have my camera on the widest angle possible to get those closer flushes. But we move on in to the public area and just kind of start working some draws. This is a bigger section so we just start working kind of the uh, draws up and down and around some waterways and things like that. and finally get into a little action. So 
So at this point, I had pushed all the way back into the very rear corner of this property, and we were pushing along the outer edge of this food plot. This lighter colored grass was the end of a food plot, and uh, we had pushed on the outer edge of the food plot. I did not want to go through the food plot. I was trying to stay kind of quiet and be a little more methodical with my hunting, but I wanted to get up in there and make just enough noise that if there were any birds in that food plot, it'd be enough to spook them out. We get done pushing through the food plot and the dog starts getting a little birdie. shot as you saw the bird ended up going down I think I barely winged it or hit its foot uh, did not have a clean shot it was a little bit of a further shot and wasn't really prepared for it we end up taking off towards it I'm getting the dog ready as you saw she jumped up when I took my second shot we're hunting some pretty taller grass which is almost over my head at some point so she was struggling to see a lot of times through this field and I've, I had never seen her jump up like that. Usually she does not lunge for birds. She doesn't jump up, uh, you know, to try to go after them, which can be a nightmare for many bird dog hunters that have been training dogs. Sometimes you get that tendency in them. And she had never done that. So it was a little scary when I took my second shot. She jumped up like that. I was not expecting it. But uh, I have mentally prepared myself moving ahead that, you know, if I'm hunting this kind of terrain, that may, that may happen again. So I just made a note. But... We end up uh, kind of pushing back down through this draw to try to get a location on that bird. We're just fetching it up at this point, and you'll see she kind of comes down here and goes back on point. So I got the shot off a second time. I did get a good read on where that bird went down. It was off to my right. Sophie took off after it, but I wanted to recall her and get her back with me. So we were working together into the wind coming up on where I knew this bird had went down. It already flushed twice on us at this point. I knew it probably wasn't gonna flush a third time the way that it went down after the second shot. But as many of you know, these roosters do incredible things even after they've been shot. And I come down here and just start working her methodically through this area where I last saw the bird go down in hopes that we can relocate it. Find a bird. Find a bird. Fetch it up. Touch it up. Fetch it up. Fetch. 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 Good girl. Good girl. Tama County. Woo! Get it, girl. Tama County, baby. Are we recording? Get it. Oh man. Oh, Tama County. Tama County. That's what this is about. Oh my gosh, I, I was just about to go back to the car. We got it. It's so freaking windy out here. I am jacked up, guys. Tama County, we are out here. We got it done. We got it done. We got it done. It's 11.55, it's not even noon yet. We got this freaking bird. You saw me chase it. You saw the shots, it's windy. Oh my gosh, I'm jacked up, guys. I am jacked up. I'm a bird chaser. I, I love pheasant hunting. That's why I'm doing this. This isn't about the YouTube, Instagram. This is my journey, my love, my passion for upland hunting here in Iowa, man. I am so jacked up. Gosh, I'm fired up, man. I appreciate all the support. You know, you don't know how many people I tell I'm trying to do this journey and they laugh at me and tell me there are no birds in Iowa, this and that. There's birds, there's birds. Just follow Iowa Bird Chaser. We'll get you on birds, baby. We got her done. Thank you.